All right, if you are done with your artwork and the rest of the class is still working, I might tell you that you may go to free choice. Before you go there though, you need to check these things. Is your space cleaned up? Is your artwork on the drying rack or in the appropriate location? Are your art tools clean? Did you wipe off your spot? Not with a sponge, but with a paper towel or a wipe if it is dirty? And is there anything under your table? If you have completed all of those things, then you may choose something from the Free Choice Center. Please make sure before you choose that you are checking to see how many people are there. Each one of my stations, aside from Free Draw, is four, no more. So, this is my free choice center. I have two spots. I have this space in the back of my room that has free choice options. Some of those include my pegboards. Okay, four no more. I have my tanagrams. Some people like to build things. Some people even like to trace them onto a separate piece of paper and make a pattern. I have books from my art library. You are welcome to read. Please, if you choose to do that, make sure your hands are clean and you're reading them in a safe space away from paint. I have my crayon peeling and for this activity, you can see I have a bucket of crayons that all have their wrapper. And then I have a little bag here of crayons that are what I like to call naked crayons. So they have no more wrapper on them. And these are actually the crayons that I use to make um, the crayon molds that my mystery people choose from. So if you like peeling the wrapper off of crayons, that might be for you. Speaking of crayons, if you like to color with crayons, I have some little baskets here that have some colors in there. You can borrow those. Just bring one basket back to your spot. If someone else already has a basket who sits by you, I'm sure you can use theirs too. If you like sweeping, you are always welcome at Free Choice to sweep the floor. And then down here, I have um, these tracing sheets. And basically to use these, all you're going to do is get a piece of paper. I have a little bit of tracing paper left. Otherwise, you might have to just use a piece of paper from free, um, the free draw paper basket, which I'll show you in a sec. But basically, you just put this over the top. You get a pencil and you trace. You can create characters from here. There's horses, um, there's soccer players. You can see there's a band. There's different people in outfits. If that's something you want to do, that's something that I would do at my table spot. Okay. And put that back. Speaking of putting it back, if you decide you want to start with maybe crayon peeling and then you move to the tracing sheets, you'll need to clean up that activity first. Over here, I have just a few more free choice options. I have my artist trading cards just little pieces of paper. Um, students like to make little cards for their friends, sometimes for their teachers. You can trace them. Sometimes people like to use the cards in combination with my stencils. It's up to you. These cards cannot leave the classroom. So last year I had a lot of students trying to take stacks of the cards home. I just don't have enough for people to do that. So please only take one or two cards at a time and whichever ones you don't use, if you could return, that would be amazing. I have my coloring books. Inside here you can see I have a variety of coloring sheets. If you want to color in one of the books, you're simply gonna find a blank one that you would like to start with. It looks like I need to go through some of these and put some more in. And you'll just rip out the page that you want and then bring it back to your spot. I can't let you take the whole book home. I just don't have enough for that. I would love to do that, but I don't have enough. So, and if you are going to color, you might 
want to use the colored pencils, which are right there. So if you want to color, there's colored pencils that in that yellow basket are pencil sharpeners. Sorry, it's a little blurry. And then you can see I also have some rulers over there too. Back over here, I have my free draw paper. Oops, zoom in out. My free draw paper is in this basket. Sometimes it's white, all on both sides. Sometimes it might have something on one side, but be white on the other. Sometimes there might be even a colored sheet in there. You can use any of them to color. I have stencils you're welcome to borrow. So if you look in here, you can see there's a variety of stencils that you can choose to make your own art with. I have my how to draw books. Remember when you're using the how to draw books, we don't draw in these books. We just follow the steps to learn how to draw these different things. So you can see here, we're using simple lines and shapes to create our car. Not in this book. I would get a piece of paper from Free Draw and then you're going to learn how to draw this car. There are a variety of ones. I have faces, I have animals, planes, rainforest, ocean, you name it, it's in my how to draw books. Um, I also have, last but not least, my trash and treasure bucket. So in this bucket, it's really just anything I have kind of floating around like these marker lids. You can see I finished my gum. Um, and you can use the stuff that's in here to make whatever you like. If someone finds something in here, I usually don't have extra. So if it's in the free choice basket or the trash and treasure basket, um, that's all there is of it. It was just maybe I had a couple extra pom-poms and I threw them in here. Or a couple extra beads, I might throw them in here. I don't think there's any beads in here right now. Um, but if you're doing this and you're using the trash and treasure box, you'll probably need a glue stick or a glue bottle. They're right here. Please make sure the lids get put back. And um, if you're using glue, the lids get twisted closed. And you'll probably also need scissors for that, which is right on that back table next to the pencils. Um, if you are using glue sticks and glue, please make sure those get put back in the right spot and not in the trash and treasure box. We especially don't want scissors in there because I've had kids get cut before. All right, you can see this year I have these baskets up here too. These are not free choice options. Up here, this is not a free choice option. These are papers that I'm pre-cutting for our projects. These are supplies that I am putting in baskets for each class so that they're ready for art. So that's my free choice center. We're gonna practice going there today when we finish our art. Thanks so much, bye.